Ah, Choo Choo's so pretty. Fang Ar, what are you doing to Tsui Daojong's arm? Hi everyone, this is an overview of the Chinese print version of author Meng Sushi's Wu Shuang. Seven Seas released the first volume of the English version, entitled Peerless, just last month. While I was researching about it, I found a listing for the Chinese version, and the seller delivered to my area. Happy coincidence or smart business move? You be the judge. So here's a sneak peek at the Chinese print version of Wu Shuang. There's four volumes in all, and they are published by Pinsin Studio, which I believe is based in Taiwan? Which is why, in case it wasn't obvious from how the title is written on the cover, the books are printed in traditional Chinese characters. Another thing that took me a while to get used to is the pages read from right to left, top to bottom. Compare this with my print version of Jiancho, which is in simplified Chinese and reads left to right, like English books. I really like the cover art. They remind me of watercolor paintings. The books have no other illustrations, but each one does have a postcard of the cover art, and I'm perfectly happy with that. Also, the last volume contains four fan wai, or extra chapters, plus one more extra chapter which is exclusive to this edition. This is also the first Chinese novel I've read which includes footnotes. I like it when translated down may include footnotes which give details about a cultural or historical aspect, so I appreciate that the Chinese edition also has these. Well, what is Wu Shuang about? It's set in the same universe as Thousand Autumns, and the main characters are Fang Xiao and Sui Wuchu. They are both called upon to investigate cases like assassinations, hauntings, and so on. Basically, they're detectives, but working for different detective agencies. And Sui Wuchu seems to have his own personal agendas. Hmm. This novel does have that trademark Meng Zixi style humor. For example, there's one scene where Feng Xiao is talking to Sui Wuchu while Sui Wuchu is trying to sleep. Feng Xiao is thinking that if he moved a little closer, he could smell Sui Wuchu's hair. A few lines later, meanwhile, Sui Wuchu is dreaming that he's thrown Feng Xiao down a pit and is looking down on him from the edge, watching him kicking and screaming while Sui Wuchu feels proud of himself. <laughs> I feel like this couple's dynamic is Meng Zixi's signature style, where person A is obviously yearning or chasing after person B, while person B is at best indifferent to person A, or at worst, plotting to get rid of them permanently. Earlier in this video, I compared these books to my copy of Chancho, but there's one more important difference since we are talking about Danmei novels. As mentioned in my previous video, the print version of Chancho by Kian Di Press has toned down any gay interactions. On the other hand, Wu Shuang does not shy away from, for example, describing what Feng Xiao is doing with his tongue. Spicy. So, there you have it. Another novel by Meng Zixi, which promises to be just as endearing as Qianzhou. If you want to get the ISBNs for the Chinese versions so you can track down copies, leave me a comment below. You can also check out the English version by Seven Seas. Volume 1 is already out, and Volume 2 will be released in October this year.